Yeah. And it's going down right now. Press What's up, y'all? Now, press one to hear important right. instructions. Press two. Yeah. Since it appears you're calling back into a live it's show, it's going to be all right now. It's going to be, yes. Huh. Yes, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Yes, it will. Uh. Everything is going to be all right. We do this thing from 10 until and you know still. It's what we had to take a last breath. And we're going to talk about death things in the thing that we're going to bring tonight. It's going to make you feel all right. The game is tight night. Yo, are y'all ready for this? We talk about cheating last night. And the list is a, a really full. We don't need no more guests. But we're going to talk about the daily. Go get a message. Show us the best. So tonight, we're talking about women always cheat up. Men always cheat down. A lot of people believe that when a man cheats, he normally cheats more impulsively and he normally cheats with a woman who ain't as good looking at his wife don't have a lot of quality she ain't none of that except the skis work is it true is it true that when men cheat when they choose their women to cheat with that they will cheat with that the women are always ratchet always ghetto don't never have no money don't have no career don't have nothing going on for him always have a bunch of kids for him to take care of always get pregnant and always get locked knocked up again is it true well a lot of people seem to think that it is a lot of people seem to think that the, the women that a man cheats with are low quality women they ain't nothing but a bunch of hoes well well there may be some evidence to support that but is it consistent enough to make them a rat well they also say that the women that men cheat with first of all a lot of people say that when a woman cheats she has she has done her shopping well number one she normally only cheats because the man cheat because her man cheated on her first and they and when they cheat they choose a man that's always an upgrade from the man that she's with up so if her husband is short then the man that she would cheat with will be very tall and if her husband was a little coward then the man that she cheats with would be super brave up and if the man is if her husband or her man is irresponsible they ain't got no money don't know what he's doing then the man that she cheats with will be way more responsible, will be richer, will have it going on and on and on and on and on. Well, that's and and they know they they say that women only cheat for love, men only cheat for sex. They say that men cheat for sex, women cheat for love. They looking for love and affection and companionship. And that man, he ain't looking for nothing but a hit. Is it true? Is it you? Is this is how it goes and how we do? Well, a lot of people seem to believe that this is exactly true. So we're going to take a look at it and um, get into it and see what we can find. Um, This is the perfect night to do it. Pretty Petty Tuesday. Pretty petty Tuesday, and we're gonna be talking about cheating a little bit, less something, little, 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 little something. That's how I was going down on daily. Go get a business show. How y'all feeling tonight, man? It's good to see y'all. Carol Chamber, let me friend me favorita. Always good to see you, Stacey White. Thanks for coming on through tonight. And T carry right morning, noon, and night. It's always great to have my people going directly into your site, right? But women always, I mean, what, what do y'all think about this? Do y'all know this to be true? Is it true? that men always cheat or for the most time for the majority of the time cheat with women that are easy easy skeezy no problem easy is it true a lot of people say that it is i've heard many women say that the woman that they caught their man cheating with was nothing but a skis what nothing but a thotty. What nothing but a cum bucket. What nothing but somebody, you know, something to do. Something to do on a Friday or a Saturday night. They ain't have nothing going on. She wasn't nothing but a broke, broke ghetto John. You know? And they say that 
when the women that they know have cheated, they've always cheated up. I mean, look at how many women get on men saying, you know, if you want to cheat on somebody, cheat on somebody that that's better than me. Cheat on somebody that's cheat, cheat with me with somebody that's on my level. Cheat with me with somebody that that's respectful, somebody that I could at least say, OK, I can see why you would do it. That's what I've heard a lot of women say. So we're going to take a look at this tonight, because if if so many people believe that this is the way that it goes down in the world of infidelity, then there must be some smoke where this where the fire is. You know, so so um we we going we going we going to swap stories tonight. Y'all tell me what y'all know. I'll tell y'all what I know. Y'all know how it go. And we're going to get this thing popping. We're going to find out what 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 the what the deal is. What the real real story is. Emily done lap in the house I said it. Emily. Now, of course, there are people who have ne never cheated and there are people who would never cheat. So we can't expect them to get into get into this as much, but they may have some something to say about if they've ever been cheated on. Just because you've never cheated or would never consider cheating doesn't mean that you've never been cheated on. And it doesn't mean that you don't know anything about how, to, how this game goes. So let's get into it, step into it, get involved with these puzzle pieces right now. We going to solve. Let's get it popping. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this your daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, go get a missing show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. I am your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the... And if you can't say Omar with the... Well, then you just say Omar with the R. This is the Daily Go Get a Business Show all up in your area. I'm feeling like a real man should. And I hope y'all feeling like real men and women should also. Tonight on the Daily Go Get a Business Show, we are talking about women always cheat up. Men always cheat down. Now, there are some people out here that won't even agree that women ever cheat. They say that when... They say the little bit of women, the little itty bitty women, the one or two women in life that do cheat, they cheat because they didn't have any other choices. They cheat because they didn't have any other options. They cheat because all other means to happiness in a relationship had been had been closed off, shut down, detoured, altered, un made unavailable. Um, a lot of people still live by the um girls are sugar and spice and everything nice okay even if you believe that you know as we grew up we had to take the take a look at the intentions of the people that we grew up with the people that we grew up around the things that we've seen the the things that we experienced all of us grew up with a mother all of us grew up with aunts and uncles all of us grew up with brothers and sisters so we have we have a, a an example base a knowledge base um, a sample base that we can tap into to see how the game really goes. So each and every one of us knows this, the truth about um, who cheated, how they cheated, and, and what, what the reason was. And how it played out after the cheat. You know, just keeping it a buck early in the game. We know that men don't always cheat down. And women don't always cheat up. We all know some woman who could not get over her ex. We, Of course, we know men that couldn't get over their ex also. But we definitely all know women that couldn't get over their ex. So no matter how good this man was that they was dealing with currently, whether he was their, whether he was their boyfriend, their fiance, or their husband, we all know a woman that would sneak back to they to they ex, and they ex wasn't nothing but a cheater, and they ex wasn't nothing but a bum, and they ex wasn't nothing but a 
but he wasn't nothing but a jailbird. He wasn't nothing but but a, a, a person who went out and made a bunch of kids, whatever, sticking and moving, 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 sticking and moving. But she would go back to him when she needed some of that. When she needed some of that sticking and moving, sticking and moving, sticking and moving, sticking and moving, stick, 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 that a woman might not cheat on her man. I'm sorry, a, a woman might not leave her man because he's not good in the bedroom. It's true. To be honest with you, I haven't known many men that got broken up with because, because they were two minute brothers or because. They couldn't satisfy their women in bed. I've known a lot of women who stuck in there. But I've also known a lot of women who, who sought out another option. And when they went and when they went somewhere where they could get their satisfaction. And they brought they they brought that wet ass back on home. Came right home, jumped in the shower, and went to bed. I had a long day, did some overtime in a hotel. Yeah, it happens. But I'm not here to diss nobody, and I don't have that story to tell. So I ain't going to tell that story. Y'all have stories, though, and I'm interested in hearing it. If y'all would like to call in, I invite y'all to call in. The number to call is area code 319-527-6199. Once again, the number to call is area code 319-527-6199. Other than that, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is the Daily Go Get a Mism Show. And we're talking about women always cheat up. Men always cheat down. Now, what we're not going to do tonight, we're not going to go into all of those, all of those, those deep reasons, you know, like we don't have to get personal tonight unless you, unless you feel the liberty to tell um, your side of the story that relates to this. But what I'm not, I'm not searching for, for that truth of, uh, you know, um, the only reason I did this and blah, blah, I just want to know. We just want to know. We just want to concentrate on tonight about whether women always cheat up. Do, do the men that women have cheated with, are they always an upgrade from the man that they have? Are they? Is it true? Is it true? Are the women that men cheat with all, are they always bums? Are they always ratchets? Are they always a three hole bowling ball? A three hole bowling ball. Is it true, y'all? I'm just asking. We can get to that bag tonight. We can get to that bag of truth tonight. I'll come with y'all. I'll drive y'all to the spot. Cal says, maybe some, maybe some truth in that. T. Carry Wright says, no, sometimes men cheat with women who allow them to chase them. Interesting. To chase them. Let me see. Stacy White says, I never cheated, but have you been cheated on? Okay, she says, he cheated on me with somebody better than me soon as he got a chance. Hmm, that's very candid. What makes somebody better than you? And she says, well, he think she's better than me. Okay, well, that's a perception thing. The same way, that when a when a man cheats with a woman, the woman that he cheated on normally thinks that the woman that he cheated with is not as good as she is. So, you know, in the interest of keeping the black family together and strengthening the black community through the black family, the black nuclear family, we have to be on the wife's side. So we hope that the wife was innocent, 100 innocent in this cheating venture. We hope that the wife is, is for all intents and purposes, prettier, more successful, more responsible, more motivated, more family oriented, more, more, a, a better, a better organizer. 
just has it going on more than the side chick. We hope, we hope that the wife has no no side chick qualities other than looks. But then again, these these side chicks supposed to be not be good looking. They supposed to be just some desperate, poor, unmotivated, no job having, or only working that family dollar Chick Fil A. Um, somebody's um somebody's um a mail room. You know, what I mean, whatever. You know, like they don't the side chick not supposed to have it going on ever. That's what we would like to believe. And that's definitely the stories that we tell. But are those stories true? Because one thing we know for sure, side chicks get pregnant by, by men who, who cheated with them. Side chicks get, get told that they, that they are loved. Side chicks often think that they are the number one chick. Often. Yeah, I know what the internet say, and I also know what it said, it said in real life off the internet. The internet now is like TV. The internet is sort of like TV in the movies because people be lying. They be lying about their involvement in certain real life situations. So all of that, you know, side chicks, side chicks don't don't never get no time. All they do, all they do is um get a uh get a chicken platter on a Friday night and some and some D. That's all they do. They they get a chicken platter, you know, two sides, a half chicken, two sides, or maybe you know, on a good pay on a good pay weekend, on a good pay Friday, you know, they get that they get that that sh that shrimp and crab platter, you know what I mean, from the clock bar somewhere like that, you know how that. They don't get no nights out. They don't get no dates. I be wondering, like, where did they move? Where did where did these men meet these side chicks to where as they don't get no dates? Did they meet them in the house? What did they do? Meet them on Craigslist? Side chick availability. I need you clean, disease free, and um, you know, uh, I don't know, panties off. I don't know. Like the the view that some people seem to have about this scenario seems uh you know slightly skewed all right not being totally truthful it's not slightly skewed it's like off the totally off the charts off the wall it's crazy they're lying they're lying and you know how we know they're lying because here's the reality of the situation the reality of the situation some of these ch side chicks have been you yes you some of you have been the side chick, ready and willing to be that too. Yeah. And not only that, some of the some of the side chicks have been our sisters. You know, some of y'all have sisters. All of us have sisters. Most of us have sisters. And guess what? You'll be hard pressed to have all of these families with these girls and these families and none of them was promiscuous at any time in their lives. You mean to tell me you ain't got no hoes in your family. Listen, if she a hoe and, and it's a she, then she's somebody's sister. You ain't going to tell me that every side chick and every hoe was the only child <laughs> or the only girl in the family. Yeah, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. You ain't going to tell me. Y'all need to stop playing. She was somebody's sister. So somebody's sister was a hoe. Was it you? Might, might have been. Maybe when she was younger, she was really, really out there. She got a little bit older, got herself together. She stopped being out there as much. She slowed down. Maybe, as, maybe it was after she had a baby. Not every woman slows down after they have a baby. Some of them, some of them, you know, stay the same or even ramp up the hoism. How you think they got the second and third baby? One of them babies, one of them babies is fatherless. Not because of the, not because of DNA is because DNA could not prove that the one that they blame was the father was the father. But look, we're talking about side chicks. We talk about cheating, and we're talking about whether women cheat up and men cheat down. So since the profile of the women that men seem to cheat cheat with are are women that are supposed to be nothing but a bunch of 
Come buckets. Well, let's look for the truth in that. Because some we talking about somebody's somebody's mom, somebody's sister, somebody's aunt, somebody's girl cousin, somebody's best friend. That's who these hoes are. That's who these side chicks are. The reality of it is side chicks do do get into serious relationships. They do get told that they are loved. They do get taken on dates. They do have holidays spent with them. They do. They get all of that. And guess what? They get they sometimes get more time with your man than you than you got. Do they deserve that? That's a judgment call. Because honestly, that's between whoever the side chick is and whoever the cheater is. That's 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 their decision about how much time will be allocated. But you're supposed to be the good wife. You're supposed to be the good, innocent wife. And sometimes you are. Sometimes you are the good, innocent wife. Sometimes you, you know, you definitely, well, most times I'm not going to say anybody deserves to be cheated on. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. Somebody going to say it though. Somebody going to say it. Cal Chamberlain says people lied about about those things before the before the internet. You know they did. You know, Carol. I know you done you done known some. You've known some people. You've seen some things like mm -mm. TV and movie cheating is a lot different than than real life cheating. Real life cheating gets trifling. Can I get an amen on that? Can I get a here, here on it? Can I get an agreement on that? Real life cheating is trifling. Real life cheating have you wanting to turn your head. But real life cheating is sort of like a train wreck. You can't, you can't look away like. Because real life cheating is bold. Real life cheating is disrespectful. Real life cheating is, 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 is. Like real life cheating throws all caution to the wind. <laughs> Carol said, Amen, amen. TK Wright said, hey. You know it's true. Real life cheating is like a train wreck or, or, or a car crash. You can't turn away from it. Just like because real life cheating has no boundaries, no rules, no rules. It don't. If I could tell y'all some of the stories that I've 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 seen, witnessed, been close to in my life, y'all would be like, "Man, come on, what do you stop?" And some of the things that y'all would tell me, I would be like, "Say what? What kind of what brand of cheating is that? Do they, they, they sell that on Amazon?" Yeah, TV and movie cheating is clean. TV and movie cheating only involves one extra person. Real life cheating, multiples, all kinds of all kinds of trashy, nasty. Real life cheating is something that the CDC has to get involved with. Like yo, 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 yo. So could it be that the perception that that um, women cheat up, they may personally feel that they got somebody better than their current man. But what, what I've always questioned about the women who cheat up, so to speak, how do they know that the man that they're cheating with is only with them. How do they know that? And you know, what's going on, my brother Ansel Jones in the house? What's going on, my brother Ansel Jones? Because I, I, I need to know something. 
these men that women cheat up with, you know, these men that got it going on are super responsible, tall, dark, handsome, brave, supermen. If they got, if these men got it going on like that, what are they doing dealing with a married woman? Shouldn't they be out there having the pick of the litter? Well, shouldn't they? They spending all this time trying to talk a woman, talk this woman out of her man, out of her husband. Yet he's tall, he's dark, he's handsome, he's strong, he's responsible, he works, he had his own business, he takes care of his his, his kids, he 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 got he he owns everything that 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 he that he touches, he just got it going on. And he ain't got nothing better to do than, than be trying to creep around with a married woman or, or a woman that's taken. Yeah, I'm telling you, this cheating math ain't adding up. If we believe that men cheat down, yeah, these little bum, ratchet, round away chicks, they ain't got a whole lot of options. They looking for somebody to sponsor them. They looking for sponsors. Allegedly. Right? I mean, these ugly, bummy, four kids with six father, you know, um, having um, um, chicks, they, they, they ain't got nothing going on, right? They got to be with a man who got somebody else. Because they optionless, right? They ain't even got money to get their hair done, right? So, so what we doing? What we doing? Women always cheat up. Men always cheat down. But I've known plenty of women that cheated with their ex. Went right back to the arms of their ex. They chose to run to the arms of the ex that left you. They chose to run to the arms of the ex that left you. <laughs> so... And so Joe said, go get us, don't cheat. <laughs> you right. You are so right. I ain't never known no cheating go get her. Ever, ever. Never, ever. Not me. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all talking about if you're going to cheat, you're supposed to, to get better. I don't know about that. But then again, better can be subjective. Very, very subjective. What's better? I mean, it always amazes me when I hear people talk about relationships that they are in or that they've been in where they really didn't feel like they could talk to their man or their woman. You know, no communication, no real communication. And I'm thinking that it has to be hard to be with somebody who you don't who you can't really talk to, who you can't really relate to, who you can't really express who you really are and what you really want to. Because to me, that's not that's not being in a relationship. It's being linked together, but it's not being in a real relationship. It's like going to work. You know, when you go to work, you can't exactly be exactly who you are. I mean, some people are who they are at work, but I'm talking about, you know, I know when I go to work, I'm not, I'm not Omar. 
I'm definitely not Sun 752. You know, sometimes a little bit of it comes out. But nah. Mm -mm. I keep my personal personality for, for my real friends. For my real loved ones. For the people that I really care about. And they ain't at work. You know? So, so I couldn't imagine being in a relationship where, where I was, where I felt uncomfortable expressing things that I really like around them. Like, now I can't play this kind of music around them because they're going to look at me like, like I'm a nerd. They're going to start, she going to start teasing me. You know, maybe I have uh, um, hobbies and activities that I that I'm involved in, but I can't talk to I can't talk to her about it because she gonna clown me for it. She gonna, you know, call me a nerd or corny or or stupid or think or think you know. She's gonna discourage me from really expressing who I am, what I like, and all of that. So you got you got chicks out here who let their man be gay around them. And although I think is I think is weird, I would rather if I was gay, I would want to be gay around my girl. Now you thinking like, well, how you have, how do you have a girl if you gay? I don't know. Ask them. But I know one thing: I've definitely seen some dudes that was that was warm butter soft, and they they was either you know linked up with with with, with a woman or they was or they was married. I'm looking at the whole couple like I'm am I the only one who's seeing this? This boy soft as powder. He is warm butter soft. Just slice through the butter. Slice through the butter. Throw it in the pan and watch it melt. But that's their thing. Regardless of how I feel about their thing, their thing is their thing and my thing is my thing. And as long as I'm good with my thing, you can be good with your thing. I'm not going to impose or impede on your thing. And you you, you ain't going to impede or, impede or impose on mine, but I have to be comfortable with mine. Now, when I'm not comfortable with mine, then I'm probably going to try to find somewhere else where I'm more comfortable. So that's when we start getting into the women cheating up and women and men cheating down. I think that's more of a perception than anything else. I don't think that is real. I think that is from somebody's perspective. It's it, that that's somebody's somebody's judgment. Somebody's judgment is about if somebody is cheating down or up. If I well, look, I've known women who have been cheated on. I've known men who have been cheated on. I've known husbands that have been cheated on. And I've known wives who have been cheated on. I've known good husbands who were really doing everything in their power visibly to keep their families together. And they still got cheated on. And some of these men found out that they got cheated on and they still did everything and their power to keep their family together. And sometimes it worked. It worked for the time being. I mean, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what the future holds. But I know, I, I've looked at that situation. I said, dang, man. That boy ain't deserved that. His wife, his wife ain't no good. I'm sure y'all have seen it too. Like, you know, like when you, when you witness a man that really loves his wife and will do anything and almost excuse anything in order to keep his relationship intact and his family together, you know, it'd be like, man, you be mad at that. You be mad at his wife. You be ready to round up his girl cousins and go get her. <laughs> Cause it's trifling, <laughs> you know? He gets done in and disrespected. Same thing with women, good women, 
good wives who who get cheated on. We like, you know, we gotta witness all kinds of crazy stuff, like, like her and and his side chick being being pregnant at the same time. The wife or the or or or, or the girl. has a baby in June and the side chick have a baby in July or August or reverse. The side chick just had a baby and the wife just had a baby. And everybody know it except for the wife. And sometimes the wife knows. But she got something she got to deal with. Ansel Jones says, you can't cheat up if you're both cheating to be together. Walk away from your situation. Stop wasting people's time. That sounds good, but that sounds very internetish. In real life, people don't, don't end relationships to get with somebody else. Shoot, I mean, to be honest with you, you don't know if you want to be with your side chick like that. I'm just keeping it a buck. You don't know if you want to be with your side chick like that. She makes you feel good. It might, she she might be good in bed. She might be somebody you can relate to. But you don't know if you want to be with her exclusively. You didn't choose her first. You know what I mean? Y'all have an agreement. Y'all have worked out something. Y'all done worked it out. Y'all worked out a way for y'all to be together. And shoot, she already agreed. She already agreed that, you know, she'll mess with you while you, you know, while you got a girl or a wife or whatever. So what you need to, what, what do you need to shake up your current situation for? Carol Chamberlain says, now that's trifling, not to mention stupid. Yeah, well, happens. I see that we have a call on the line. Caller with the last number is 8658. Welcome. Well, let me see if I can cue you in because, you know, this browser be acting, acting a fool. Okay, here we go. Caller with the <laughs> All right, there you go. Can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I sure can. What's going, what's going on? <laughs> I think the worst case that I've ever seen of cheating I worked at a hospital in Philadelphia. Side chick was pregnant. Went to the hospital to have a baby. The husband was at the hospital with the side chick during the labor, during the delivery. Somehow, somebody told the wife. She found out who the girl, who the woman's name was. Came and said she wanted to go visit her the day after the baby was born. She goes upstairs to the room. She gets her visitor's pass. She goes to the room. Hubby is there. She proceeded to whoop that woman behind in the hospital. We had to call security and the police. <laughs> now that's stupid. Hey, um, th these, are, these are some of the things that you have to go through. I mean, it. This, these are the some. These are what's. These are the risks of infidelity. These are the risks. You know, nobody gets away with it. Listen, you're going to be found out. Somebody will tell it. No, no, nine times out of ten, you're going to tell on yourself. You know, you and, know. And again, somebody will tell. Yeah, you know, men. First of all, the one of the reasons that it's, it's called cheating is because you're not following rules. You're not following the rules. You're cheating. You, you know the rules and you've decided to break the rules. You're winning. Supposedly you're winning, but you're not winning fair. You're not playing fair. But because, because you can get so full of yourself in your infidelity, you tell on yourself. 
I've known I've known women that was cheating with their man and 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 pretty much told their man that they was cheating. That's why I'm that's why my up yeah, I've seen that. You know, we, you think that's something that only happens in the movie. No. Seen it. I've seen it, heard it. So I'm like, you know, yeah. you, you invite that into you. Yeah, it definitely happens. So you invite that into your space. All right, you're going to get everything that you're looking for. Now, now it's it's funny that you brought up that, that scenario where the wife got the visitor's pass and and went to go see the girl and and you know and it turned violent. Well, I've known other I've I've known other situations, you know, like uh where the where, where the man got his side chick pregnant, she's at the hospital having the baby under his wife's insurance. Oh yeah, that's happened too. Like, <laughs> like what are you doing? We've seen it all. <laughs> you know, we gonna have to start getting fingerprints and 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 an ID for um for for insurance. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? Look, <laughs> I went to the hospital to see one of my brothers recently, a couple months ago, and they asked me, "Did I have ID?" I started laughing. <laughs> and that was at a Philadelphia hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, My it's seventy-five years old. What do you do, man? It's a dirty, you're it's a dirty game. Time. It's a dirty game, and um, you know, mm-hmm. but but the but the bottom line is, you know, what we was talking about tonight is women always cheat up and men always cheat down. It's this. I just don't know that to be true. I have known times when it, it's your definition of up and down. That's right. That's, that's right. What I'm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. It's, 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 yeah, because what I might think is up, other people will look at me and like be saying, is she a fool? You know, or vice versa to for a man. You know, like what's up to do? Right. He got just that and the other at home. And this what he wants. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's all in the perception right. of what's up, what's down. Yeah. You know, um, over the years I've learned not to to uh say what what any man or what any woman should want. Because honestly, what I may what what I think is, is good on the surface may not be what that person is looking for on the surface or not what they deal with you know a lot of a lot of things that look look like what they look like um in 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 public aren't always what they are in private you know so so where where it might look like man why would he cheat on his wife you like she's pretty you know she got it going on she handles a business you know she's a good person and blah 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 blah. Man, many men would love to have her, and, and that's true. Many men would love to um have her, but what would many men do with her when they got her? I don't know because I'm not there. You know, I don't know what those I don't know what those interactions are like. I'm not inside of his mind and his body, and so I don't know how how she makes him feel. You know, I I can just judge from the shell of the relationship that I see. And I say, yo, his woman got it going on and he shouldn't do her like that. The same way I may say the same thing about a man. Look, you know, women say that they want a good man. Well, she got she got herself a good man. You know, you know, this dude, he 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 handles his business. He do, does what he has to do. He makes sure that, that he takes care of the kids. He even helps out in the community and stuff like that. He's a great guy. I don't know what this man is like inside their home. Shoot, for all I know, he running... For, for all I know, he running around the house with 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 Brian Panty set on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, exactly. Not the Brian Panty set. Out in the world. <laughs> Listen, you you never know. You never know what's going on. Not just in the bedroom of. Of somebody's home, but you don't you don't know what goes on behind 
that closed house door. You just don't know. The neighbors be knowing though, because they hear the neighbors be hearing them arguments. You know what I'm saying? They know. <laughs> so the rest of the world don't know. Yeah, I mean, again, it just comes down to perception because some men and women think that the grass is green on the other side. So they go over there and see that it's not grass, it's astroturf. <laughs> right. 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 So it's hard to say. You know? One thing is for sure, though. So, if if you if you're cheating with the same person, you know, um consistently, that 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 person, whoever you, whoever that person is that you're cheating with, they do something for you. There's something about them that does something for you. You know, it's not for me to say. It's not for me to say. It may not be for you to say, but you know that it, it, it's happening. It's going on that way. Yeah. You know, so, so, uh, I mean, I've seen the guys cheat on women that I thought were really good women, and I couldn't understand why they would go from what they had to what they were with. And that, that to me, my perception of it was that they were cheating down. But again, on the outside, everything looks one way. But on the inside, it's a whole different thing. You know, like she, like you said, she could be handling her own, doing her thing. Then you got career-minded women whose career is more important than their spouse or their home. They got that, I got to get this money. And I'm not saying nothing's wrong with it, per se, but there has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. You know what, Carol? If there's not. I mean, I mean, whoever you are. Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, I, I I call I call everybody all women who whose names I don't know I call them Carol. But anyway, um, okay. um, you know this this late this latest thing with Ime Ime um the, the guy who cheated on on um Nia Long. One yeah. thing the one thing that was missing from that whole story is I was looking for everybody to be like. The woman that he cheated with was some kind of bum, some kind of ugly chick, some kind of ratchet chick. And that's the thing that was missing from that scenario. Did you notice that? They yes, didn't did. they didn't say that she cheated, that he cheated down. That's what was missing. They they all agree that Nia Long is beautiful and that she's worthy and that you know she's a she's a good catch. But what they didn't say was, but the, the chick he messed with. Was some old bum, ugly, ratchet chick. They didn't say that. I and I noticed that. I was like, huh. Well, well, well. What have we here? What have we here? Now you well, look. You look at the. It was something lacking. Hey, in hey. That relationship. I, now. Well, well. Ev- evidently, visibly, they didn't think that the girl was ugly. That's what was missing. You know what I mean? Now, 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 if I had to put them side by side, mm-hmm. I would say that Nia Long came out on top as far as looks are concerned. Yeah, but I, I guess but the, then you're comparing a black woman to, to a white, white woman. woman, right? And I guess that white woman wasn't yeah. ugly enough. She wasn't the she wasn't exactly. the Charles Barkley wife type of you know a white woman. You know she wasn't she wasn't well, that. Exactly. There you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Bravo. Yeah. Bra- that's a good one. <laughs> or 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 the or the woman who got um 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 Bill Cosby um um jammed up. <laughs> that man yeah. looking woman. You know. I mean we we was like Bill. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah, I can see you got a <laughs> who's powerful, graceful, she's a beautiful black queen, and you messing with a dude because that's I don't care what you say, that's a dude. Look, 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 we was like, 
look, I can see you um um dr- drugging um Beverly Johnson up, but this one. <laughs> <laughs> This the one you got cased up. This the one that got you cased up. <laughs> like, come yeah. on, Bill. Come on, man. I want to know what pills Bill was taking. And you know, when 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 uh but when um when um Jada Pinkett, when Jada Pinkett was messing around with with uh with August Alcina. August. Yeah. Nobody, I didn't hear, I don't know, you know, maybe you heard differently, but I didn't hear anybody say, like, what's she doing messing with that old punk? You know, I, like, he don't have as much money as no Will Smith. He don't have it going on like Will Smith do, but nobody, I didn't hear anybody yeah, say she that she cheated up. Younger. Huh? I think she was looking for younger, someone that she could possibly control. Okay, but was he an upgrade? I don't think he was an upgrade. Nah. But no, he definitely wasn't an upgrade. All right. He was trying to be a come up. <laughs> Yo, he was the one all he was the one all all yeah, messed up over him. He was like, ah, come on, Jada, please. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to be a come up. He figured if he could get with Jada, maybe she could open some doors for him. <laughs> Look like from, from let him let him tell him he just wanted to let let him you really heard of him a lot until then. Oh yeah, well you know people people his people who listen to his music I, even I knew who he was because I listened to I had a few of his I albums. No clue. Yeah, you know he was. And no clue. He wasn't a, like an A list type of uh, of singer or whatever, but I definitely had his albums, and he's actually a, a good artist. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I would have never put those pieces together. But what pieces would I have put together? You know that I'm not close to. But I did notice yeah. that people weren't people couldn't say that she cheated up, but they sure didn't blame her for cheating with him. That's what I. That's another thing no, I thought was I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. they didn't, but it definitely wasn't. It definitely was a cheat up. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was a cheat up. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. You know, he could have been banging Clarence Thomas' wife for all I care. Yo, come on, baby. Really? Listen, you gonna have me having nightmares about this chick. I was <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm like this big burly. I mean, his big burly political <laughs> chick. <Yeah. laughs> or either, or either, hey, if you're gonna have a nightmare, throw um, <laughs> you know, Mike Simpson's wife in there, mother. Oh, <laughs> Listen, you know, um, uh, 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 for for Clarence Thomas, for Janie Thomas, from from now on, I'm a I'm a refer to her as the Republican Bear. <laughs> He married to the Republican bear. Oh my God. I would say nothing to be a fly on the wall in that house. Man. <laughs> Somebody's uh, oh what was um when when he when he was trying when he was trying to get confirmed, what was the what was the the black woman who who um Anita Hill? Yeah, I know Anita Hill is like I told y'all, <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all. You know what I mean? Right? Y'all was calling me a hater. Now look, <laughs> what's up yeah. now? What's up now? My right, name is Vindication. Right, just cold, hot cold. They really did. They did her dirty. They did her very, very yeah, dirty. dirty. Mm-hmm. See, black women didn't matter back back in 1991, 19, 1992. They didn't matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a sisterhood then. You sure didn't. All right. Well. Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. But yeah. I just think it's all perceptive of what somebody thinks is cheating up or cheating down. Mm-hmm. Because to me, 
I could look at the same situation you look at and you could say, well, I can keep cheating up and I could be like, nah, brother cheating down. But it's what I see and what you see. And right. we all are entitled to our own opinion. True. True. And the other thing is, neither you nor I live in that household, so we don't know what the hell is going on. Definitely. Definitely. I just had so much in here because this stuff here was like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God. Hey, hey, listen, it, it had to happen. It had to happen. I've been sitting on this for a minute. I said, nah, we're we going we gonna to go ahead and address this tonight. We had to do it on Pretty Petty Tuesday. <laughs> but I, I got to yeah. I, I gotta get out of here, though. I got to get out of here. All Every right. Night, all you go get stay safe, stay blessed. And if you live in Philly, watch your back. Oh, Lord. Yeah, please do. Please, please. Seriously, please do. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Be very aware of your surroundings. You have a good night. You too. All right. Good night. Excellent call. Like like Donald Trump would say, that was an excellent call. Perfect call. Perfect. Perfect. All right, y'all. Let's do these birthday shout outs. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious. 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 October 11th and they deserve to be acknowledged so let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S-P-E-C-I-A-L they get the R-E-S-P-E-C-T they are S-P-E-C-I-A-L they get the R-E-S-P-E-C-T they are S-P-E-C-I-A-L they get the R-E-S-P-E-C-T they get number one out the box Tracy Javon Grant what happened to our girl, Tracy Siobhan Grant? You know what I'm saying? Turning 56 years old today, I hope that she's good to go. And also, Tamira Kane, happy birthday to you, Tamira. And also, Mia Samaya Loving, happy birthday to you and Antoinette Rayfield. And my girl, Nettie Raw, turning 56 years old today. My girl, Nettie Raw. You know what I'm saying? And also, Nina's Whoa. My man Nina's Woe turned to 52 years old today. And Tamika Templeton, happy birthday to you. And last but not least, my girl Mo Nick Savage. <clears throat> my girl Mo Nick Savage, I want to say happy birthday to all of y'all and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on this glorious, glorious, glorious. October 11th, anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up, turn up, but don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A rock out, rock on and do the damn, the damn, the rock out, rock on and do the, do the damn, rock out, rock on and do the damn thing and do your thing. Y'all represent the queens and kings and do your thing. Y'all represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember me, man. <clears throat> you know, I said, you know that they say that men cheat up. I mean, I'm sorry, men cheat down, women cheat up, women cheat up, men cheat down. I'm sure we all know of, of situations. We all know of certain things where it just don't go down like that. It's not happening like that. We ain't feeling it like that. So when it gets to when it when it gets to the point where the internet or TV or movies or entertainment starts to cloud our vision and our reality of, of, of actual life, then we we all have the obligation to go ahead and put a stop to that. Like, listen, the, the truth has to come out at some point or another. And we, we, we owe it to ourselves to tell the truth to each other. If we don't tell the truth to nobody else, if we never tr tell the truth at any other time, we need to make sure that we tell the truth to, to ourselves, about ourselves, with ourselves, how it goes. So, um, whether you cheat up or wh whether you are a man who cheats down or a woman who cheats up, that's all about perception. 
<clears throat> none of none of anybody, none of us should ever engage in cheating. And like us, like I was saying to the caller, you know, the reason that they call it cheating is because you 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 are going around the rules. You're not following the rules. And they say cheaters never win, but they always feel like they're winning, and they'll always tell you that they're winning. You know, you can't always employ their tactics. And when it comes to cheating, you probably should never employ anybody else, other um, anybody else's tactics. But we all make decisions in our lives, and we gonna do what we got to do. I said we gonna do what we got to do, what we got to. Peace to all my day ones, my everydays, and my brand news. I love y'all to death. Resuscitate y'all. Love y'all right back to life. We will be back tomorrow night for another daily go get ism show. So y'all make sure y'all and you see that we and we got yeah. All right. So blog talk, we gonna get you out of here. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all on your way out. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would appreciate it. So let's go. All right, blog talk. We're gonna get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, forget it. Oh. Okay. But what did I do? All right. And for my YouTubers, you know just how we do, but thanks for coming on through. See you on the other side. Thank you for having Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Peace, y'all. Have a good one.